respond. What are you hearing at the doorsteps as you canvass on the streets? Good evening. Um, yeah, I've been door knocking for three weeks uh, for my fifth election in a row. Uh, there's some new faces in White Rock. Uh, you, you hear everything. You hear infrastructure, you hear questions about parks and rec, you hear development, you hear waterfront, you hear our water utility, you hear all sorts of things. So um, yeah, the, the questions are all over the map and most people are just happy that you made an effort to come out and get some face-to-face -face contact and uh, not just receive a brochure in their door. Uh, yeah, I went uh, door knocking on Marine Drive. First door I went to, they said, I love the development. I love it. Bill Moore. I discovered it was Grant Meyer's mother. <laughs> we, just, uh, we, we just can't go there. We have to make adjustments. Uh, right? We have, we have to make adjustments here. Uh, I'm an independent, I vote independently, I'm gonna make the decisions independently. I, I can't accept the, the concept of a coalition in, in any shape or form. We've been through that for four years. Personally, I can't take it anymore, right? I'm mad as hell and I won't take it anymore. Thank you very much. Well, I, I did a fair amount of it the last few months, but uh, the main one I heard is, Mike, we love you, we love your experience, and we'd like you to be our mayor. So I don't know whether I can believe him or not. We'll find out, won't we? Seriously, um, the sort of problems we've heard here tonight are on some people's mind. A lot of the times they're getting annoyed about being bothered. Uh, a lot of the times they're going to say, we love you, like I say, and bang, you're gone. So I've heard it all. I've heard it all all my life, because you go campaigning door to door, and isn't uh, it has about a 14% success rate, just so you know. Thanks. I hear so many things. I, I door knocked all the business areas around here, and of course, their problems are parking, their problems are seasonal development. Um, in you know, six months they're good, six months they're not. Um, then I look at the people in the the condominiums around here and the single family homes, they're concerned about the amount of high rises, but more concern comes out with the lack of infrastructure and our money is not being put into the infrastructure. And then we find out that, you know, people wanted their gardens. When I door knocked up a roper, for example, there's an escarpment there and it's all weeds and brambles and separates to, to um, uh, streets and they want that fixed up. You know, I, I, I think a lot of people have, there are so many things out there, but mainly they want clean water, they want better infrastructure, and they want to stop on some of the high rises so that it can catch up, and they want to ensure that there is affordable housing mixed in with it. And so we've been out door knocking for about two months as well, wrecking virtually every door in the community that is single family and, and the businesses. From the businesses down on the front, they're frustrated because of the construction that went on over the busiest part of the year. They probably lost 50% of their businesses and many of those businesses have had to borrow money simply to make it through. They believe construction is running the waterfront, not City Hall. Businesses on Johnson, virtually the same thing. Nobody tells them when the sidewalk is gonna be closed. Nobody tells them when uh, things are gonna be put up in front of their businesses so they can't, people can't park there. The construction workers get to get away with that. And that's just simply wrong. And we'll do something about that. On the home front, I've never heard so many respectful people wanting to talk about their communities. They've got concerns, but they've got ideas as well. And that's what we've got to get back to. What are their ideas and how do we work with them? Thank you. First of all, I don't door knock. I don't like to bother people when they're having dinner, lunch, or breakfast. Okay, I think it's bothering, and if anybody tells you it's different, forget it. 
I don't put up with signs. I did in the provincial election, they threw spears at it, they did this, they did that, and it cost me a ton of money. Okay, just so like guys like Gary can stand on the corner, okay, with guys like direct democracy and wave at me when I go by. Okay, what does that tell you? Huh? Now, you want to get serious? We're talking about serious issues like crime, homelessness, okay? We're not talking about developments. We got lots of developments. Okay, I'm getting really sick of the politics in this town. And you people aren't that dumb, okay? And if you are, if you are that dumb to believe this stuff, it's already done the develop. The only sign that was worthwhile was Ken Chesney's, and it was now parked in a corner store that's been around here forever. That's respect for small business. Thank you.